followed soon thereafter by President Biden, to make clear that as long as the United States stands, Israel will never stand alone. Today, in my fourth visit to Israel since October 7th, I reiterate that in all my discussions with Prime Minister Netanyahu, President Herzog, the Security Cabinet. I reiterated and made clear our support for Israel's right to defend itself, indeed its obligation to defend itself. That includes through the additional assistance that we work with Congress and we're working with Congress now to provide for Israel's defense, as well as for urgent humanitarian needs in Gaza. This right to self-defense, indeed this obligation to self-defense, belongs to every nation. No country could or should tolerate the slaughter of innocents.